TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman sitting in for the uh, 9 a.m. Eastern Time morning update. And here at TFNN.com, we are looking at 27,171 was the close yesterday. The futures, though, up at 100 points at 27,276. The S&P closed yesterday at 2985.03, uh, way off the low from uh, that was on the 15th of 3,017.80. I shouldn't say way off the low. Uh, uh, quite a bit lower, using up time rather than price. But the futures are up. Uh, at this particular point, the futures are up about 11 points. So the E-mini right here, you can see the E-mini. Where did it go? Right here. I'll type it in. Yes, the E-mini is trading right now up 11 at 3,000. But what I'd say to subscribers to my opening call, watch this closely because you've got a lot of resistance at the 3,001 to 3,005 level. Start to break above that. That's really positive. Let's see what happens between 1.30 um, and 2.30 this afternoon. That's going to be quite important. 1.30, I say even between that and 2.45. And if the E-minis are still up about seven or eight points and haven't given back a good chunk of the gain, that's going to be good for the close. But I'm suspecting that comes Wednesday or Thursday, we're going to see some kind of weakness. So let's see what we're looking at in terms of gold. Gold at this particular point is up. Oh, now it's down a little bit. It was down much more. Now it's only down 0.7 at 1426, holding well. But it is in this rectangle formation. Remember, rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience as it just goes sideways, consolidating. Uh, silver's uh, also doing the same sort of thing. It's a tad stronger than gold because it's trying to tackle the recent high. It's trading up 0.11 at 1652. But the real issue here is. Look what the dollar is doing. It's up 28 cents at 97.57. It's broken out above the high that was made earlier in June. This is a cup formation. This is very good. It's helping the weekly chart go to a leg B. Most importantly, look what it's done to the euro. The euro is really taking a dive. Not so good. Look at that. Down 0.04. And tomorrow, of course, in Britain, we get a result of who's going to be the next prime minister elect. And the British pound, ay, 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 the British pound is down. Uh, 0.03. Actually, it's holding above the recent low. But you're going to watch that real closely. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Larry Pizzavento programming all day. And uh, hope you have a great day. Thanks for being here.